Hey everybody, Bob Trossett here, post game with Coach Miller. Coach, the, the score really did not indicate how this yeah, one went. Right. Talk to me through how, how that second half went in your mind. Yeah, you know, I just told the guys, you know, it was one of those hard things. You know, for 81 minutes, you know, we competed with the nationally ranked team. I thought we had them on the ropes after that goal. I thought we were doing well. And then I don't know what happened the last eight minutes. I just, you know, I told the guys it's tough because, you know, for 81 minutes we played so hard. But against good teams like this, you switch off for eight minutes and give up, you know, bad goals. They're going to they're gonna make you pay. So for 81 minutes, we were, we were in this game. How about the physical play? Both teams with double digits and fouls. What were you telling the guys in terms of physicality? Well, we just we knew it was going to be a physical game. We're we're the two most uh, yellow carded teams I think in the conference. So, you know, it wasn't a surprise to anybody that already knew the game going into it. So we just told them to be physical, but don't be stupid. You know, don't give you know don't you know get yellow cards. They were getting a lot, and that's what I thought when it was one one, and they were getting a lot of yellow cards and free kicks. You know, against them, I thought that's when we had them on the ropes. But, you know, obviously the defending let us down. But yeah, it was it was a physical battle, and we expect that every time against Lycoming. A couple of yellow cards are issued. Dr. gets the PA key. P PK kick, he converts it. Momentum really seemed to shift, at least from up top. Did you feel that at all? Yeah, we did, and that's what I was saying. Like we, you know, we when we scored that PK, we had a two chances before that um, that we just missed wide of the post. So we knew that we were in the game, and we had an opportunity, um, you know. And I and we really felt the same way we did, you know, after the Lebanon Valley first goal that we were back in the game. You know, we felt felt confident we felt good we kept the guys on that we you know we didn't make any we didn't go to defensive shape we wanted to go and win the game and in, in the 90 minutes and unfortunately we just you know let ourselves down with some of our defending last note i'll allow you to i'll give you the floor for your seniors yeah you know i've only been here you know since april um but you know these seniors uh eight of them um, one that isn't able to play, but you know all of the seniors. I can't you know thank enough for their support. Um, they've bought into what we're trying to do with this program. We're we're going to make this program better because of what these guys did this year. Um, we still get a chance of the playoffs, but those eight seniors, you know, they they have been you know they've been through a lot over their four years. You know, with the program, three different coaches, and uh, but they didn't they didn't give up. You see their you know their work rate. You see how positive they are. They are you know inspirations for future you know um, you know Stevenson soccer players and I'm I'm proud of all of them and we're going to go and celebrate up at the you know senior tailgate and um, I'm just you know proud of every one of them they're all they're all welcome back anytime here as alum and hopefully uh, you know um, you know we'll see them again soon all right coach thanks for your time best luck on the road thanks man he's coach Miller I'm Bob Trostin saying good night from Mustang Stadium